Have you ever wondered what this mesh networking is all about? How does it work? What can I do with it? Well, this is one in a series of videos designed to specifically answer these questions and get you up and running quickly using the particle ecosystem. In this video, we'll onboard our first argon and create our first mesh network. So this is a first in the series of learning about open thread and uh, mesh networks, uh, local mesh networks and how they all work and interact. And I'm really eager to do this series because I'm happy and eager to use the new hardware that's come out by Particle. I've been a big fan of Particle for many years now with the uh, photons. So what I have here is an argon. The argon is both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy Bluetooth, and this is the, the device that will sort of act as our gateway to the outside world. Um, we will also onboard a couple of xenons. The xenons are Bluetooth only, and they will act internally in our mesh network. Uh, they also build a boron, which is basically like the argon, except it's low energy Bluetooth tied to cellular. And I don't have any of those in the lab, but I don't think that will impact uh, the series and our understanding of how uh, mesh networking works. So in onboarding the argon, there is one difference between this and the photon, and that is that I have this external antenna attached. And that's important because the argon does not have an onboard Wi-Fi antenna. It does have an onboard Bluetooth antenna, but for Wi-Fi, um, we have to use the external antenna. And so this is different than the photon. The photon, um, you could tell it which one to use, um, but in this case, it's always gonna use the external. So with that in mind, make sure that's on. The app will also prompt you to do that, and let's plug it in and get it onboarded. Okay, so we're up and running, and uh, it's in listening mode. And what I'm gonna do is launch the Particle app, and I've already logged into my account. I've already onboarded one Argon, but I'm gonna do a second one. So I'm gonna hit Add Argon. And then this is where we're gonna scan the code. So we'll hit scan here, and I'll bring this up. And we now have that code identified, which does identify the device. And then we'll go to next, and looks like we've paired successfully. And notice we haven't put it on Wi-Fi yet, which I love. And now it's saying that the device needs to be updated, so it doesn't have the latest uh, device OS on it. And so it's going to update it now through the phone. And I love the fact that this is doing this all through BLE. So we haven't even, again, needed to put it on Wi-Fi yet. We're able to update the device directly from our phone. So we'll let this happen. And uh, I will probably cut the video uh, and pick up once this is done, although I will keep a video around that shows kind of the whole process in case somebody's interested in kind of how long this takes and uh, also noticing all the, you know, the LED feedback that we're getting as a part of the process correlated with what we see on the phone. So we're going through part two at this point, and I do tap my screen every once in a while just to make sure that I don't uh, end up having the phone go to sleep on me as a part of this process. Okay, we've added uh, the new firmware, and now it's asking us if we want it to be used in a mesh network, which we do, so we will say yes. I'll bypass all of the costs at this point, and we, at this point, need to scan and get it on the network. So we'll scan through all the different Wi-Fi's here, but I'm gonna pick Windy City Lab, And 
enter the password. And if I did it correctly, we should see it jump on to the Wi-Fi. And ultimately, we want to get to breathing cyan. Okay, so we ran into a little bit of difficulty um, getting the argon onboarded, and the issue when you saw those three orange flashes was there was some issue with the keys. Now, I did change networks um, to go back to the lab to figure out what was going on. In the process of doing that, um, it got back onto the network and it onboarded just fine. So unfortunately, I don't have an argon fresh out of the box to kind of do the whole thing again. So what I'm doing is basically just showing you how you would onboard the argon from a state like this, where it's sitting there listening. Um, what I had to do is uh, basically reset the argon, hold setup for quite a few seconds, I think it's up to 10 seconds, until it's flashing blue, which is in listening mode. So what I'm gonna do is onboard this onto my account. So as you can see, we don't have uh, a second argon yet. We only have argon one, which matches what I have in the app. So what I'm gonna do is hit add. I'm gonna add argon, scan the uh, matrix. So we will do that. Um, I am going to indicate, yes, Wi-Fi is attached. And so at this point, um, it's pairing with the argon, which is great. And it used Bluetooth for that because we're not on Wi-Fi yet. Um, now, how do we want it to uh, work? Well, we want it to be used in a mesh network. We are not gonna do the cost information here. Um, we're gonna say, okay, and we're going to tell it which Wi-Fi to use. And we're going to say, connect to cloud. And now it will go through the process of putting it onto the system. So at this point, it's uh, actually um, breathing cyan. And we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, congrats. It says we have a new device on the system. We'll go ahead and let it be called Argon 2. So we'll say next. And let's give it a um, network name of WCL2. And we're going to give it a password of, um, and it goes through the registering process. And we are done. So let's say we're done at this point, and. Uh, there I now see two, and if I, over here on my desktop, if I go ahead and refresh, I should see a second device, which I do. Now, the other thing that's cool is, uh, although you, I don't believe you can do this from the console, which would be nice, but if I go to build, and I come down here to devices, we see the two devices, and if I come down here, uh, you'll notice that it's saying it's only at release uh, RC.26, but 27 is the latest. So we're going to go through in the next video how to upgrade the firmware to the latest. But notice if I hit signal, I get a signaling effect on the device, which is really cool when you have a bunch of devices and you're trying to figure out which one is which. That is a great way to figure that out. So that's it for this video.